Hey, welcome back guys to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oglu Hadef and we are doing another Aesthetic Forge tutorial. This one is going to be called Hot LZ, made by uh, a guy whose gamer tag is MattyFatty51. So at first, a little hard to take that seriously, but you can see right here, um, his forging definitely compensates for the, um, for the uh, sort of silly gamer tag. But this is an awesome map. I love the aesthetic details in this. As you can see, it kind of tells a story of a, a landing zone um, that's been, you know, under fire by all these covenant uh, vehicles and whatnot here so you'll see a whole host of aesthetics that you'll be able to use ranging from uh, spirit to that tyrant gun all the way to this crash pelican and a bunch of other small aesthetics so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start off with this spirit vehicle here we'll probably go ahead and do a separate spirit tutorial in the future um, but I mean this one looks incredible so why not use this one let's go ahead and take it apart and see how it's built so first you're going to have a strut piece here and then you're going to have a strut that's going to be on the underside of it. Um, then to make the sort of the back here where the turret is you're going to have a block stationed right there. Then you're going to want to put um, basically a base turret here because it gives it that cool uh, covenant turret look, turret look excuse me. And then you're going to have these blocks that are going to be stacked. Um, to give it this kind of spine on top of the main cockpit. Um, this is really unnecessary if you want to save money, but it looks very cool and it adds a lot to it. So you're going to have these blocks that kind of move up on top of this um, cockpit here. You want to make sure it looks it, uh, it stays skinny and then it moves into this bigger part here. Um, so this is pretty accurate to the model we've seen in the various games. And he's going to put another block here. He's going to start widening it out. Um, and what you'll see is it widens out into this part here. So I'll pull that up, I guess. So he uses two ramps. Um, again, this model is done with great detail because it's all on an incline. So when we do a tutorial in the future, we'll probably try and keep it all flat and straight and neat uh, just to walk you guys through it. Then over here, I'll just show you. He has two of these ramp shallows going either side a floor to it and then two ram shallows here so the angled parts of this definitely keep the covenant theme alive um, and it keeps the uh, sort of architecture and design um, looking very covenant then over here for the infantry capsules basically has three of these um, blocks here 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 and here to make the main part of it and then he ends it with this uh, this block one by one flat on either side I think it looks really convincing especially at the angle he gave it coming in like this it looks like it's really flying in so you can use that for your various maps for aesthetics or actually have people spawn up there um, then over here he has various platforms to put these shade turrets you know he has um, different covenant vehicles over here he's put these sort of weapon drops for the covenant so blocks with inclines around the sides and then he affixed a bunch of these different weapons. So I think that looks pretty cool. Over here, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at the Tyrant Gun. It's pretty big, so I recommend you download the map um, if you want to know all the details. So go ahead and look in the, in the description for that. But it's fully functional. You'll see you can walk up here. Grav lift shoots you up. And then you can go up here where there are these various turrets defending it. And then, of course, the main gun itself. So we'll go ahead and look at this briefly. Um, dishes at the bottom. <clears throat> then either of the legs. Um, there's three of them, obviously. Is going to have this cool intricate design built with struts. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have a block that's going to be the basis of it, and then essentially for the different parts that are attaching it to the ground, you're going to have a strut piece on the left, another one on the right, and then you're going to have one vertically right here. And that's all to be bracing <coughs> the main leg that's going to be jutting up. <coughs> Excuse me. So block one by four is going to be moving up on an angle here, and that's going to trace all the way up to the main part up here where they all link together with these struts. So you're going to want to copy that leg design. Um, I mean, if you want to use this design all the way around for three of them, and then it's going to link up at the top here with these struts. Now let's go ahead and look at this main area here. He used a combination of various blocks. So three of these blocks coming across on the sides. Then for the corners, what he did is he had to put a couple of these ramps so one is going to be here, another one is going to be here, and that makes for a nice even floor for these corners. It looks great. Then he puts the turrets here, um, and then the cover piece is here. And then on the inside, he does make an area where you can pick up weapons, beam rifles, what have you. Then here, one-way shield, and then these blocks here to finish off this, um, this section here where you would come up, make it a little more restricted. But again, that's pretty cool and relatively simple to make. I really love what he's done. Uh, it looks great. And then where all these legs come and join up, what you have are these corner two by two pieces um, that are basically going to be coming off these struts right here then he puts a purple light on the inside that's basically the power core for this tyrant gun 
Then he has these barricades in the gaps. Now, when these all come together, this is going to be the main um, gun piece. It looks really cool. Um, it's relatively complex, so I'll pull it again uh, apart for you again. Strut here is going to be along the direction of the gun barrel. Gun barrel itself is going to be made of these walkway large pieces, one here and one on the bottom. Then what he's done is he's put a bunch of these columns together, tracing along the main barrel of the gun. That makes a cool coloring. Um, looks like the plasma would come through that. And then on the inside even further what he has is a whole um, sort of column of these blocks like this coming through the middle. Um, and you can see it's coming down the center. Then he has this flanking row of columns and then he has these two walkway covers um, basically sandwiching it. So that makes a really cool um, interesting looking barrel um, and you can obviously get rid of these side pieces because if you want to save budget you know always stick to the more basic parts. Um, then he's going to have struts on either side connected to these ramps. Over in the back he's going to have this big block housing the main part of the gun in the back. Then he has a block here, flatten it out, and in the back he's going to have these ramp pieces angling out and then back in along with the strut right here and then a strut on the top. So that's basically going to be the main um, components of this Tyrant gun. It looks really cool, but again, I recommend you download the map just if you want to see the, the details. I just did a cursory glance of it. Um, but that looks really cool as a set piece for any map. Um, it's looking awesome. Over here is going to have a Crash Pelican. So walkway cover is usually um, going to be the main part for a Pelican. You're going to want to start off with that, so he puts that right there. Then he adds a window piece for the cockpit. Um, what we did in the past was we used these Y, um, these used to be Y large pieces I believe, now they're Y cross pieces here. And then a block here, that's going to be sort of what you want to do to make the top for the main section of the Pelican. Then the wings, obviously, corner 4x4s, you're going to use two of them to sandwich it. And then on the inside, um, you know, you put this block here to make sure it's not hollow. And then what he did for a destroyed one is put a bunch of these wires hanging off, dangling, he put debris. I think that looks cool. Then over in the back, what he did is partially um, sort of show a destroyed um, pelican. He's got a block here for the tail section, and then a strut sticking out. This one's still intact. That one's come off. Um, the rest has wires dangling off. He's got wall pieces, um, an upside down warhog, and the other strut there. So that makes for a cool debris field. And we'll go ahead and look over here at what he's had. More shade turret emplacements, more covenant vehicles over here. This is maybe um, a satellite relay or one of their um, shield generators. Over here this would be um, two dishes put together, uh, grav lift in the center, and then these struts here, this looks like what would be used to load the Covenant carriers, kind of in the belly of the beast type of deal where you go in the middle and it shoots you up. Then over here this is going to be a sniper tower, so um, cylinder large here with ramps leading up to it, gravity lift coming up to the top. Um, then over here what he's done is he's used these blank bank 2x2s, two excuse me, for the floor here. Um, so four of them, and then to connect them he has these ramp 1x2s just like this that works together. And what's cool about that is it leaves a gap in the center where basically he just puts a one-way shield right there. So that'll be the basic components of it. Then cover crenellations you can see right here. Um, shallow ramp pieces here. And then he puts another one here arcing back. Um, and all this good, gives good protective cover for whoever's up here. And obviously um, you know, you're going to want to take a beam rifle or some sort of precision weapon up here. That's a cool way to design it. Um, and then over here, he's added some banshees and whatnot. Um, so this is a really cool map. You know, again, guys, I tend to pull things apart. If it's a bit too fast for you, go ahead and rewatch the video or otherwise download the map. So check the description below. If you have your own maps you'd like to submit, make sure to check the description below as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.